Hi, my name is Dr. Paul Choi. I am the director of Los Angeles Endoscopy Center. I am also a fellow member of American Gastroenterological Association. In this presentation, I'll be discussing colonic polyp. The colon is a part of our digestive tract that connects the stomach and small intestine to the anus. Colonic polyp is a growth that occurs in the lining of this colon. It is an extremely common problem. When adult population is studied, it is found that up to 50% of patients who undergo an examination of the colon are found to have at least one or more polyps in the colon. Although most colonic polyps are not cancerous, some can grow and eventually become a cancer over time. Studies have demonstrated that timely removal of polyp can result in up to 90% reduction in the development of this leading cause of cancer. In fact, it appears that the recent decline in death from colon cancer is in part due to the increasing adaptation of colon cancer screening in the general population. Most patients with colonic polyps do not have any symptoms. When symptoms do appear, they include bleeding, diarrhea, or constipation. The risk factors associated with the development of colonic polyp include older age, family history of either colon cancer or colonic polyp, smoking, and obesity. Fortunately, not all colonic polyps go on to become colon cancer. There are two main types of colonic polyps that are encountered during an examination of the colon with colonoscopy. They are hypoplastic and adenomatous polyps. Hypoplastic polyps do not have any risk of malignant potential. On the other hand, adenomatous polyps that make up nearly 75% of polyps that are detected can and do go on to become colon cancer. Adenomatous polyp needs to be removed. In summary, colonic polyp is an extremely common problem that occurs in patients who are older, have family history, patients who smoke or are obese. However, not all patients who have colonic polyps have these risk factors. Therefore, anyone over the age of 50 should undergo regular colon cancer screening. When colonic polyps are found, they should be removed and serially followed to make sure that they do not recur and go on to become colon cancer. Thank you for listening.